Hey guys, Frank, your virtual general aviation aviator. And today I plan, I'm going to make a quick video to show you how I can figure my CH pedals to work. Um, so I did it once and hopefully I can do it again or at least um, get in well enough to kind of show you how, how it works. All right, so um spawn in with the Cessna 172, um, the steam gauge version, and I really don't need this one to right now, so I'm just going to close it down, and I am going to hit escape and go to controls, okay? Now, when I initially started, when I went to CH pedals, uh, basically, this was all I had. I didn't have anything else. So, I knew I needed brakes, and I knew I knew that rudders are flight control system surfaces. So, I did a search. I think I think I recall searching for brakes. Um, so I tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just get rid of my brakes. Let's see if I can't figure out how to get rid of them. Um, let's see. Well, I can't figure that out. At least not in a hurry. So, um, let's see if I can add another set of brakes. Um, so search by name, and I go brakes. I was absent the day they taught us how to spell brakes and search. And that didn't work. Okay, search by input. Uh, let me click, let me X this down and break, break let's see, brakes. Uh, brakes. Okay. Um, because what I want to do is I want to find brakes. Uh, I'm hoping this don't take forever. Okay, um, this looks familiar. I think I may have done all. All right, and then no, I didn't. I didn't do all because I definitely didn't scroll through all of this. Let's see. Search by name. Um, okay. Okay, yeah. Here we go. So, select the input, and then I search for brakes. All right, so brakes came up, and when it came up, basically I didn't have anything. Um, all this stuff is here because I had I added it. Um, so anyway, if you go ahead and search for brakes, then you should get this here. And I'm just gonna uh, let's see if we can de delete this. Um, clear. Okay. And and so I got that cleared. And hit escape and validate. And then clear, validate. Okay, so right now, I don't have, well, I've got toggle and skid brakes, but the Cessna don't use anti-skid brakes. It just uses brakes. So if you search for brakes, then you should, you should come up with a choice for left brake and a right brake. brake. Now, the, tr the trick is, finding the key, uh, the joystick axis for the brakes. So the system already knows I'm working with the CH pedals. And I'm, I'm actually going to add uh, the joystick axis here and let you see how I did it. So what I did was I clicked inside the box and then search for an input. Okay, so I hit this drop down box. Okay, and then 
I highlight this box and I'm looking for my left brake. So I go to my CH pedal device and I stomp or mash my left brake. And that fills it in automatically. And then I just validate it and voila, it's there. And I do the same with my right brake. So I'm gonna click in this box and then I'm gonna click in this, I'm gonna click in this box. I really don't have to select an input. I'm just gonna search for an input. So I click in that box and then I, I mash my right brake and it comes in automatically and I just validate it. And now I've got that set up. So I'm just gonna go back and do the same thing with my uh, anti-skid brakes. Um, I had set that up before and I, I don't think it did anything, but just in case I want to go ahead and have it in now. And so once you figure it out, then it doesn't, right great um it's just anti-skid once you figure it out then it doesn't take a lot council uh, right break once you figure it out it doesn't take a lot to to um, figure out how to work with it and i did the same with my ruddles except for uh searching for breaks um I searched on control surface. Um, so if you just search for the word surface, and that didn't work. Let's see, control, and all right, and then scroll down here. Yeah, flight control surfaces. And so that's what I want. And I can actually close up all this other stuff as it's distracting. Uh, let's see, okay. And then flight control surfaces. Uh, and, and then select an input. Uh, let's see. I'm sorry, guys. This is not working the way I I tell you. It, it's a new system, so it do take some getting used to. Um, let's say now I don't need to set flaps up on the CH on the CH systems, but the rudders are flight controls, so I'm gonna search for rudder. R-U-D-D-E-R, -E okay. And rudder axis, primary control surface. surface. Auto rudder, nope, I don't want auto rudder. I don't want to toggle the rudder. Um, let's see, set rudder trim. So rudder left and right is what I want. Okay. Um, so I am going to click in into this box here. And then this says rudder left, y'all left. So I'm gonna not press the brake, but actually press the click in here and press the rudder. And I did that and validate it and now i'm going to do the same with this guy and validate that and i should have those rudders set up now my rudders were working so why i i have to do that i'm not sure and one of the things I did notice is that you can create profiles. Okay. Um, you can create profiles for different devices. Like this is called CH Pro Pedal 
profiles, which is something that the system recommended when it found it. But um, I think I can rename it. I'm not going to spend a bunch of time looking at how to do that. But I did name this one Alpha Flight Control's custom profile um, because I think I had a profile um, that somewhere in here, I think there's a profile that don't have the word custom in it that the system suggested. Anyway, guys, um, as I learn, as we learn this system, more will be revealed. But in the meantime, I hope this helps. All right. So, so let's just, before I end the video, I do want to just uh, pop into the sim and get a camera view on from the outside external and I don't know how to change cameras real quickly uh, but let's go with rudder and um, so looks like all of my surfaces are working and of course the brakes are working also. Uh, I don't have the plane started, but I'm sure that they are. Okay. Um, hope this helps. Ciao.